Greetings, Joseph Kursky here with you to look at the Complete Idiot's Guide to Windows 3.1. This is a slice of history, people. Look at this, floppy disk capacity to specify when formatting. What's formatting a disk, you might ask? Complete Idiot's Guide to Pocket Guide to Windows 3.1. 1993 is the copyright date. And this was a big change because up to this point, people had been largely using DOS prompts. So text-based input on a screen. Windows 3.1, along with their Mac equivalents, was really the first graphical user interface driven operating system. And so what we've got here is people now dealing with Windows and raising and lowering different things, different tasks in Windows, actually using the mouse. So there's a section in here on using the mouse and all kinds of other things like how to navigate menus and all sorts of things in here. This is, a, again, a real piece of history, people. Hmm, closing windows, how do you do that? Using the scroll bar. Ooh, bypassing those mouse commands, though, with some keyboard shortcuts. That was very useful and handy. What do these icons look like and what do they do? Managing your files. Formatting your floppies. Here's that capacity of floppies table once again. Couldn't fit much on one of those. Sometimes you have to span floppies with a file that would take multiple disks. Especially in the world of GIS, you had an image and it would span multiple floppies. Oftentimes you'd get to the last floppy and it would fail, so you'd have to start the process all over again. And then your user your recipient of those floppies would have to go back and load the floppies in the correct order and copy that floppy disk data onto their own hard disk. If there was a hard disk, sometimes a computer had two floppy disks. All right, the complete idiot's guide to Windows 3.1. Thanks for joining me. See ya.